Hello, good evening, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? What about your day? How was it? I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm really yeah. yes. My day was um a little busy, mm -hmm. but I like it this day. Oh because really? Tell me about it. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. That is correct. So we are almost done with this week, right? Yes. It's so you, fast. Yes, that's correct. And you uh actually no, do you go to work on, on weekends or no? No. Okay. I that, don't. So that means that you are going to actually have a good time on Friday or Saturday. Do you have any plan? So for the weekend, I don't have any plan. Okay. All right. Perfect. So tell me about the activities that you did at work today. So today I have three meetings with the production department and mm -hmm. I had to review uh, some invoice and arrange, arrange the shipment arrange the shipment okay mm -hmm. I think that it's all all right so that was pretty much what you did sorry that was pretty much what you did those were your tasks? Yes. Okay, perfect, Edwin. Well, and what about the traffic? So in the morning, it's so difficult to arrive to the arrive? work. Arrive, okay, arrive. arrive. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. So where do you live? I live in Ateos, in Ateos. Oh. And I work in Lourdes. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Okay. How long does it take for you to get job? Mm, um, six kilometers. Okay. So, and that's how many minutes? Maybe one hour? Um, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay. So, that, that's like not that much, right? But with traffic, yes. yes, I think. Yes, when the traffic is so heavy, I take one hour 30 or one hour quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, uh, anyways, right, so let's see what happens at the end with the traffic because people are complaining, right? Many people are complaining about the traffic. But yes, so we have Carlos Eduardo Torres. Good evening. We also have Jancy and we also have Nelson. Well, I already saw your message, Nelson, that you are cooking. Okay. So um, how are you, Carlos? Carlos is not there. Probably he's busy. Carlos Dominguez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, very well, teacher. Okay, very good. Well, I can see that uh, Gen C is as a listener today, but okay, let's continue. All right, guys. So today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to zero conditional. We also have a speaking time because um, today we are going to speak more than the other days. Um, then we also have vocabulary quiz. We have grammar quiz. We have a listening quiz. Um, and we also have a game. Okay. So then we are going to start with vocabulary. And let's see. What we need to do is that we need to match from one to six to uh, the column A to F, right? So we need to match, yeah? So um, let's see, number one, when you are hungry, what happens? Mm -hmm. Your when you stomach are... make yeah. noise. Okay, nice very night. good. Yes. So in this case, your stomach, this one is K. K sound, okay, stomach, yeah? 
stomach. Um, what about number two? You eat too much. Mm -hmm. If you eat too much, what happens? You become overweight. Correct, right? That is correct. And if you have a lot of body fat, what happens? Mm -hmm. What do you think? A lot of body fat. Your lungs don't move, I think. Your lungs don't move? Okay. Mm, are you sure? Or if you can't breathe? Mm -hmm. No idea? Let's move to number five. When you are hot, what happens? When you are hot. Mm -hmm. What happens when you are hot? You sweat, okay? And what is the meaning of sweat? What is sweat? What is it? Uh -huh. Sudar, okay? Sweat means sudar, okay? If your eyes are closed, mm-hmm, if your eyes are closed, what happens? Mm -hmm. You are asleep. Okay. Are you asleep? Yes. Asleep. You ah, so are asleep. Okay. So asleep, está dormido, okay? So let me see. And what happens then when you have a lot of body fat? You survive longer without food. Yes. And if you can breathe, your lungs don't move. What is the meaning of lungs? What are lungs? Pulmones. Pulmones, right? Very good. Yeah. So if you are hungry, your stomach makes noises. If you eat too much, you become overweight. If you have a lot of body fat, you survive longer without food. If you can't breathe, your lungs don't move. If you are hot, you sweat. Yeah. If your eyes are closed, you are asleep. Yeah. So remember, today we are going to cover the zero conditional. Okay. And let's see. What is the zero conditional? Who knows? What is that zero conditional, guys? Any idea? No idea about the zero conditional? No idea. No idea. Okay. So the zero conditional is really easy. Okay. Um, Salvador, help us reading the definition and from one to four as well, all of this. All yes. The the zero zero conditional is used to make a statement about the real world when the result of the condition is always true. We also use the simple present tense to create sentences and often refer to rules scientified fact and general truth, cues and effect, routing. Okay, thank you. Uh, repeat after me, Salvador. 
scientific facts. Scientific. Como? Facts. Scientific facts. Yes, facts. Facts. Cause. Cause. Routine. Routine. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. So the zero conditional is the one that we use to make a statement. A statement is a synonym for sentences, right? So the zero conditional is the one that we use to make a statement or sentences about the real world. And remember that real world, when the result of the condition is always true. And this is very important. Because this is about grammar. We use the simple present tense. You are familiar with the simple present tense already. Okay? So we are going to start learning about the zero conditional. And we can use the zero conditional whenever we talk about rules, scientific facts, and general truths, cause and effect, and routine. Okay? That is the general explanation. But now, when it comes to a structure, we need to follow this structure. Do you remember that we covered uh, something about if? Um, I think last week. Do you remember? So that was part of the conditionals. But today, we are going to start with that zero conditional. That zero conditional is the easiest one that we have. Okay, so whenever we use the clause if, that is a conditional. Mm -hmm. So we have positive sentences and we have if plus subject plus verb in base form, complement, coma, subject, verb in base form and complement. In other words, we use the simple present tense in both sentences. Why? Because that zero conditional help us to express things about the real world. Yeah. So we have, if it rains, the grass gets wet. And what am I uh, saying? If I say, if it rains, the grass gets wet. Si llueve, la grama. Se moja. Yeah. So what you need to remember is that with the zero conditional, um, we can express things that are real. Yeah. Cosas que son reales. Mm -hmm. So the if is like, si llueve, ese sí, como condición. Si llueve, la grama. Semor. Yeah, we also have negative sentences. And with the negative sentences, we use the simple present tense, but in a negative form. Okay, and we have an example. If I don't know a word, I look it up in my dictionary. So, Si yo no sé una palabra, yo la busco en mi diccionario. Yeah? And that is something true, right? It is true. It is real. Or if you don't know a word, you ask somebody else. If you don't know a word, you ask your teacher, etc. Right? So we also have questions. And with the questions, it's really simple because we use also the simple present. Yeah. And we have do or does plus subject, verb in present, complement, if, subject, verb in base form or present, and complement. And we have the question mark. And we have the question Does your mom get angry if you don't help with the chores at home? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. So once again, that zero conditional is the one that helps us to 
talk about rules, scientific facts and general truths, cause and effect, and routine. And we use the simple present tense in both sentences. Yeah. So we, we have some examples. So you can um, get this, um, this information, okay? Um, we have rules, okay? If you drink alcohol, don't drive. And this is zero conditional, okay? Es condicional cero. ¿Por qué es condicional cero? Porque las dos oraciones están en presente simple. Then we also have, if you smoke, don't come inside. This is a rule. Those two are rules. Then we also have cause and effect. Yeah. So if you push the bottom, the volume increases, of course, right? Si usted eh, presiona el botón, el volumen se incrementa o puede ser lo contrario, pero siempre hay una, uh, una causa y el efecto. Yeah? If you close the door, it locks automatically. If you close the door, it locks automatically. Then we also have scientific facts and general truths, yeah? And we have two examples. The first one is, if you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. Of course, si se calienta el agua, a este grado, herbe. Okay, if you combine oil and water, they do not mix. And that is correct. If we combine oil and water, they do not mix. No se mezclan. Mm -hmm. That's why we say that we use the zero conditional to talk about scientific facts in general truths, things that are real. And when we talk about routines, for example, I wear my boots if I work. Yeah? So, yo uso mis botas si trabajo. She uses glasses if she drives. Routine. If I cook, I use olive oil. Mm -hmm. For example, um, whenever you are sick, right? Whenever you are sick and you say, si voy al doctor, me siento mejor. If I go to the doctor, I feel better. You see? And that is zero conditional. Mm -hmm. And that's why at the very beginning, we covered this, right? If you are hungry, if you are hungry, what happens? If you are hungry, your stomach makes noises. And that is correct. Cuando tenemos hambre, el estómago hace ruidos. Y usted dice, ay, tengo hambre. Cuando ya escucha su estómago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you are hot, okay, si usted tiene calor, if you are hot, you sweat. Usted suda. That is correct, right? So if you are hot, what happens? You sweat. And that is true. 
es algo real. So that zero conditional is the one that we use to talk about real things. And we use simple present and simple present. The two sentences in simple present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, simple present, simple present, and the clause if. Para que sea un condicional, tiene que ponerle if. Porque eso nos ayuda a saber que es un condicional. All right? So, if I want to say, si yo quiero decir, y mire, estoy utilizando condicional. If I want to say, si yo quiero decir, guys, si yo quiero decir, um, si yo duermo bien, me siento bien. ¿Cómo lo digo? Si yo duermo bien, me siento bien. If I sleep good, I feel good. Ok. If I sleep well, I feel good. Ok. Very good. You see? And that is true. Right? That is true. If you sleep well, you feel good. Now, if you don't sleep well, you do not feel good. True. Uh, question. Yes. It's very necessary include the conditional if uh, about the sentence. Yes, it is crucial. It's really important. Para okay. que ustedes utilizan un condicional, ese es sí. Ese es el if. Now, if you want to say, ¿ok? Otra oración en condicional cero. Recuerde, condicional cero. If I want to say, si yo quiero decir, si yo tengo dinero, yo compro ropa. Si yo tengo dinero, yo compro ropa. If I have money, I buy clothes. 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 Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, si yo me despierto tarde, llego al trabajo tarde. If I wake up... Uh... A positive of early. Late. Late. I'm. I. I stay late at, of my job, to my job. Um. No, you can say I get late to work. I get late. Yeah. Um, or I arrive late at work. Yeah, there are many ways. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, another example. Something that is real, okay? Ese es el condicional cero. Algo que es real. Algo que es real y por eso utilizamos dos oraciones en presente simple. No en otro tiempo. Son dos oraciones en presente simple. Okay? El do y el das. Fíjese bien. Okay. Now, um, if I want to say, si ella come mucho, si ella come mucho, ella gana peso. If she it it if she eats uh, a lot a lot she uh, win uh no she gains no uh, she gains weight weight 
Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one. Um, si yo no trabajo, no tengo dinero. Mm -hmm. If I don't work, I don't have money. Correct. If I don't work, I don't have money. You see? Very easy. So um, this conditional, the zero conditional, is the easiest. Es el más fácil de todos, los condicionales. Okay? Very easy. It's not difficult. Do you have any question till here? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? Doubts? No? Okay. Uh, Let's see. Uh -huh. Could you say me what you mean in doubt or doubt? Ah, do you have any doubt? Yes. Yes. Doubt means duda. Okay. Okay. So now uh, we have examples in a positive way. Negative and questions. So, uh, Susana, help us reading the positive examples. Uh, Eulise, the negative, please. And Glenda, the questions. Okay. If you hit ice, it melts. Yes. Ice melts if you hit it. If I go to the bed late, I wake up late. Mm -hmm. You pay higher income taxes, you earn more money. Mm -hmm. Correct. Negative. If you don't exercise, you are gain weight. Mm -hmm. you, you need a pain if you take the test. Mm -hmm. If I don't study, I don't do well on test. Perfect. Um, question. Does that I meet if you hit it? Do you go to bed late if you wake up late? Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have if you hit eyes, it melts. And that is true. Yeah. Si usted calienta, hit, calentar. If you hit ice, si usted calienta el hielo, ¿qué pasa? Se derrite, melt, derretir. That's why whenever you go to Wendy's, usted dice, deme una melt. Ok. La que tiene el queso derretido. Ok. So if you hit ice, it melts. Or we can say, ice melts if you hit it. El hielo se derrite si tú lo calientas. Mm -hmm. If I go to bed late, I wake up late. And that is true. Well, sometimes, right? Si usted se va a dormir tarde, se despierta tarde. In some cases, right? You pay higher income taxes if you earn, si usted gana, earn, yeah? More money. Mm -hmm. Income taxes, impuestos. Okay? If you do not exercise, you gain weight. Sometimes you need a pen if you take the test. If I don't study, I don't do well on the tests. That is true. And now questions. Does ice melt if you hit it? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Do you go to bed late if you wake up late? Yes, I do. No, I don't. 
Okay. Very simple. Do you have any question? Hmm? Not right now? No. Okay. Very good. So now let's practice. Okay, let's practice. Okay, so we have the first question. And I have given you an example. I have given you an example, but you need to create another example of your own, right? Su propio ejemplo. So what do you do if you can't sleep at night? Example, if I can't sleep at night or if I can sleep, I try to relax my mind. But you can say, well, teacher, if I can sleep at night, I watch videos on Facebook. I watch videos on TikTok. You can say that because that's what you do. Okay. Now, number two, what do you do if you have to prepare for a difficult exam? Look at the answer. Mira la respuesta que yo doy. If I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I try to review and practice what we have covered in class. Yeah. Ve que repito lo mismo que me preguntan. Así tiene que repetir usted. Now, what do you do if you don't want to do your English homework? Mm -hmm. The platform, right? So, example, if I don't want to do my English homework, I try to discipline myself to do the homework. And number four, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? Well, in this case, when I receive bad service in a restaurant, I talk to the supervisor. That's an example, okay? Now, if you see, we have when, teacher on number four, we don't have if, tenemos when. Yes, when se puede reemplazar por if in el condicional cero, okay? Puede decir, if I receive bad service in a restaurant, I talk to the supervisor. Cambia un poquito porque el if es si y el when es cuando, right? Solo cambia un poquito la interpretación, pero al final es la misma idea. ¿Mm? Do you have any question? Any doubt? No? Okay. So right now, what I need to do, okay, I need you to create one answer, una respuesta para cada pregunta. Okay. I will give you five minutes, but we are going to stay here. Yeah. We are going to stay in the main room individually, individualmente. Okay. Once you have created those uh, answers, send them to the chat. Quiero ver la escritura. Okay. Let me know if you have questions. Si tiene preguntas, hágame.
Okay, if I can sleep, mm, double E and one P. If I can sleep, I go to the kitchen and I prepare some snacks. Snacks with the letter C before K. So if I can sleep, I'm going to I'm going to rewrite it in the correct way. But if I can sleep, I go to the kitchen and I prepare some snacks to eat. To eat. Okay. To to eat. And to eat. And some snacks. Uh, yeah, well, I feel better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, let me see. If I can sleep, I watch movies. Correct. Very good. If I can sleep, I listen. I listen to relaxing music. ING. You are giving a characteristic to music. Relaxing music. Mm -hmm. If I have a difficult exam, I study a lot. Yes, Jennifer, very good. Um, just don't forget el puntito y final en la oración, okay? Que no se le olvide, el puntito y final. If I have a difficult, and you are missing the letter A, a difficult exam, very good. If I can sleep, I drink tea to relax myself. If I can sleep, I do exercise. Yes, that is correct. Sometimes it helps. Mm -hmm. Yes. If I have to prepare, let me see. Let me see, Anna. If I can sleep, I listen. I listen to relaxing music. And if I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I make a summary about it. Number two, perfect. If I don't want to do my English homework, I try to remember. I try to remember this. Okay, three correct. If I receive that service in a restaurant, I never, I never visit it again. If I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I try to feel comfortable and remain. Comfortable. Mm. And stay in classes. Mm -hmm. Yes, stay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir eh, que adopto una posición, digamos? Por ejemplo, en el, para el primero, si yo no puedo dormir, digamos, me 
me hago de lado, me acuesto de lado o algo así. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo you puedo can... decir ese acostar? Yeah. You can say, I, I lie on my side. I lie. L I. L I. -E. On my okay. side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If I, oh, okay. If I can do my homework, I relax. Okay. Eh, remember that después de can't, eh, Jennifer, el tú no va. Después de los verbos modales, no utilizamos tú. Okay. El verbo va en su forma base. Entonces solo sería if I can't do. If I can't do my homework, I relax to make the exercises and then I try to do my homework. Okay. It's el deletreo de exercises. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. If I don't want to do my English homework, I remember the opportunities to to learn to learn English. Mm -hmm. When I receive a survey, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jennifer, that is correct. Very good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let me see, Salvador. Okay. If I can sleep, I try to read a book. Perfect. If I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I try to find help. Excellent. If I don't want to do my English homework, I try to encourage me. Perfect. When I receive bad service in the restaurant, I procure no discuss. Yes. Eulise, if I, el, el sujeto, if I can sleep, I try to read a little. Yes, le faltó el sujeto en la primera oración, Eulisa. Let me see, Susana, if I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I try to practice a lot. Perfect. When I don't want to do my English homework, I change my mind and get uh, in the platform to, to do my homework, okay? When I receive bad service in a restaurant, I never visit it again, okay? Nelson, if I can sleep, I don't know if I sound. Okay, yes. If I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I do a questionnaire of the main topics. If I don't want to do my English homework, I try to focus on yes. When I receive bad service in a restaurant, I never go back. Okay. When I receive bad service in a restaurant, I never visit it. Okay. If I receive bad service in a restaurant, I never come back. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. I'm still missing some of you. Okay. I haven't seen uh, examples. Teacher, sure, tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, de lo mismo. Eh, con respecto a este verbo, este verbo es mentir, correcto? Mm -hmm. Lie. Pero se puede usar para posturas entonces. Yes, it has different meanings. Tiene bastantes significados dependiendo del contexto. Ok, sí, es que eso sí es nuevo, digamos, ese, ese otro uso. 
Okay. Pero sería específicamente para posturas. Sí. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok. Yes. Tengo, tengo una duda. Yes. Este live es acostarse, pero si tiene B o no. Mentir mm. es live, pero sin la D. No. Eh, es el mismo. O sea, mismo, en, presente, no. en presente es el okay. mismo. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Es el mismo. Ok. Let me see. Edwin, if I have a meeting, I'm. Ok, if I have a meeting, I need to get ready. If you can't come, you keep me informed. Ok, Edwin. Mm. I need to. I need to get ready. If you can, if you can come. If I have to prepare a typical exam, I try to send it three more hours. Ok. La T le faltó Eulice en difficult. Ok. T was missing. Ok, guys. But I can see that most of you actually um, created good examples, ok, sentences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. So right now I'm going to take the attendance. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance. Um, give me one second. Say present once you hear your name, okay? Give me one second. See? Okay. Um, Ana Lorena. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Andrea. Andrea Sofia. Blanca Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Eulice Torres. Yes. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Present. Ok. Glenda Toledo. Glenda. Present. Present. José Salvador. I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sánchez. Karen. Catherine Indira Velázquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa. Susana Milena Cruz. Present. Thank you. Walter David. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, before continuing, okay. Well, um, let's finish with this, okay? Then we are going to move to one activity that we have. Okay. If I can sleep, I listen to music. Fatima, yes. If I don't want to do my English homework, la cale faltó, Eulis. I try to study with my classmates. Okay. All right, guys. You are going to give me the sentence that is missing. Okay. So it says, if a person has a job interview, he probably feels... Interesting. Okay. Mm. Nervous. Nervous, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? He probably feels interesting. No, because it is about feelings, emotions, verbs, 
um, uh, um, adjectives in ing, no. They should be in ed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Los de ed, los adjetivos que terminan en ed son los que describen las emociones. Excited. Excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, if a person sees his girlfriend with a man he doesn't know, he probably feels. No, it's not the correct word. Mm -hmm. It's about emotions. If a person sees his girlfriend with a man he doesn't know, he probably feels jealous. Jealous. Or oh, confused. Confused. Perfect. Feelings. Betrayed. <laughs> Betrayed. Oh my God. Okay. Betrayed. Okay. All right. Now, if a person watches a movie about a serial killer and he is home alone, he feels scared scared right okay number four if a person doesn't eat for 48 hours he probably feels hungry angry, angry okay weak. weak very good weak yes okay number five if a person doesn't talk to his family or friends for a long time he probably feels Alone. Alone. alone, okay. Alone, alone. All right. Probably sad, right? Uh -huh. Disappointed, right? Uh -huh. Number six. If a person works out and is really hot, he probably feels. Thirsty, sediento, thirsty. Hydrate. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Correct. Uh, number seven. If a person's cat dies, he probably feels so sad. So sad. Down. If a person has two jobs and no time to relax, he probably feels tired. Tired. Is stressed out. Burnout. Burnout. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. Number nine. If a person cannot keep his eyes open, he probably feels. Mm -hmm. If a person cannot keep open, right? When you see people that they are like this, como cabeceando, le dice uno. Sleepy, asleep. Okay, uh, he probably feels sleepy. Sleepy, yes. Mm -hmm. And the last one, number 10. If a person gets Cut off on the freeway, he probably feels mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if a person gets cut off on the freeway, he probably feels what is the meaning of freeway? Freeway means um, what is it? Cut okay. off. Cut off. Okay, like it stopped. It stopped. Mm -hmm. Gets cut off. Que lo paran. Mm -hmm. Scared. Yeah, scared. Okay. Yeah. Yes, he what? probably feels scared, worried. Yes. Mm -hmm. Freeway. What is freeway? Carretera 
or it could be autopista, okay? The freeway. Hmm? Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Let's complete the sentences with what you do when you feel a certain way, okay? So if you are angry, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I am angry, uh, I'm going to a restaurant. I go. I go to I a go restaurant. to a restaurant. Okay. Very it's good. Simple, right? Yes, simple present. Correct. Okay. Excellent. Number two, if I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, if I'm busy, I try to um, organize my tasks. What about you? Mm -hmm. I could say uh, I am busy. I try to eat something. Okay, if you're busy, you try to eat something. Okay, could be. Okay, busy is ocupado, okay? If you are hungry, what do you do? Okay. I cook for myself. Excellent. Correct. If I'm hungry, yeah, I cook, right? Or if I'm hungry, I go to a restaurant, etc. I order food, right? I prepare something. If I'm hungry, I go to sleep. Sometimes you go to sleep without eating, right? So if I'm jealous, what do you do? I try to talk with other person. Other person, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. If you are lonely, what do you do? I try to watch TV. Excellent. I call my friend. Call your friends. You try to watch TV, watch videos, etc. If you are scared about something, what do you do? I about it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. If you are sleepy, I try to go to my bed right now. I drink a cup of coffee. I, I, I uh, drink a cup of coffee, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you are nervous, what do you do? I imagine a funny situation. Okay, you imagine a funny situation. Uh -huh. I sweat a lot. You sweat a lot. I sweat, I sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you are thirsty, what do you do? I try to drink a lemonade or water. Or water, okay, perfect. Do not drink Coca-Cola or soda, right? When you are thirsty, try to drink water, okay? Yeah. If I'm upset, if you're upset, angry, what do you do? Molesto. If you're upset, what do you do? Upset mean molesto. Molesto. It's a synonym for angry, but upset is less. Mm -hmm. I try to do another activity. Very good. Excellent. You try to do a different activity. Perfect. So you see? And that is first conditional. Okay? All of that. All right? All of that is 
first conditional, all of this, all of this, yeah? Now, yes, the other activity, okay? The challenge of knowledge, yeah? All right, so what we are going to do is the following, guys. So is you against me, right? Is you against me? Is the whole class against me, yeah? Well, this is a game where we can uh, earn money. Of course, it's just virtual money, okay? It's just virtual money. I'm going to be, um, let me see, I'm going to be watermelon. You need to choose your fruit or a vegetable. Who represents the team? Mm -hmm. Is you against me? Yes. Understand, teacher. Sorry. Yeah. So in this case, first of all, we need to pick um, if you are going to be a fruit or a, a vegetable. That's the first thing. A lemon. A lemon? Okay. Yes. Let me see. Um, pineapple. Okay. So now you, the whole class, the whole class, you are lemons. The whole class. Yeah. I'm watermelon. Yeah. So what you can get is virtual money if you answer correctly. So I'm going to ask you, how much money would you like to make? You need to participate. I'm not going to ask like each of you. You need to participate. You are going to say, me, teacher, I want to participate. All right? So you are against me. If you lose, if you do not answer correctly, so I'm going to take away that money. You are going to owe me that money. And I'm going to win that money. All right? You need to answer correctly. Those are topics that we have covered already. And some things about vocabulary that you should know. Okay? So let's make uh, one, okay? For example, this time I'm going to pick somebody, okay? So you can see how we are going to play. Um, okay, Rafael, you, all right? So Rafael, how much money would you like to make tonight? You need to tell me the category and the amount. For example, teacher, vocabulary, $500, or tenses, $300, or verbs and prepositions, $300, whatever you want. Vocabulary, $500. Okay, so for $500, Rafael, for you and your team, for the class, explain the word dull. What is dull? Explain it. Do not look on the internet, guys. No busque internet. This is your Touch my hand. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Rafael. We covered this yesterday. Mm. Yeah. Five hundred. You are going to own. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> we just. <laughs> You owe me $500, okay? Somebody that knows the answer? So some people just um, enjoy that the life. That don't enjoy the life, okay? In simple words, dull is a boring person. Una persona aburrida. Okay? Like that. Okay? All right, next, volunteer. Okay, Glenda. All right, Glenda, how much money would you like to make for your team? In mention five things, 100. Okay, mention five things, 100. Okay, for, five, uh, for $100, mention five shapes. A square, In circle, square, circle triangle, triangle, oval. Oval. Uh, rectangle. Rectangle. Excellent. Okay. Very good. All right. So I have added some triangle, star, square, rectangle, diamond. Okay. Diamond. But very good. So you owe me right now uh, 400. Yeah. You got 100, Linda. Okay. Okay. Very good. Next, 
another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Carlos Eduardo, okay, go. How much money would you like to make? Mm, maybe verbs preposition for $100. Okay, so let's see. For $100, okay, mm -hmm. complete, complete the space in blank. We have letter A, B, C, or D. Want. Letter A. Yes. Okay. Can you please read the sentence with your option? <clears throat> Every year, millions of people visit the London Museum. That is correct. Okay, very good. You owe me right now 300. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, next, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anna. Okay, Anna, how much money would you like to make for your team tonight? You're on mute. Sorry, uh, 200 of pences. Pences, all right. For $200, can you please complete the sentence with A, B, C, or D? Mariel. Okay, read the whole sentence. My dad gets up at seven o'clock every day. Perfect, gets up, okay? So you owe me just 100, okay? Perfect, all right, next, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Try. Okay, so I'm going to pick somebody then. All right. Um, okay, so, okay, Anna, go again. And then Wilbur, okay? Yes, okay, Anna, how much money would you like to make? Maybe 200 for mention five, five things. Okay. For $200, can you please mention five items in a farm? Um, a farm, uh, maybe uh, vegetables. Okay, vegetables, yes. Uh, the <laughs> um, earth. Okay, mm, in this case, it's not the correct word. Okay. Uh, a farmer? Okay, yes. Yes. Um, um, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, maybe a, a water for the plants? Water, okay, for the plants. Three. Uh, trees. Okay, trees, yes. Um, um, animals? In the animals. Okay, very good, so 200. All right, very good. Yes, okay. Well, I have added some examples, right? Do you know what is um, rake? What is rake? Rastrillo. Rastrillo, correct. What is a scarecrow? Un scarecrow. Uh -huh. Un espantapájaro. Correct. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of shovel? Shovel? Pala. Okay, 
Napal. Mm -hmm. What is the mean of wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow. Tractor. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. It's like un, um, es que es como una carretilla. Okay. De las que se, eh, donde lleva usted como tierra. Una carretilla. Mm -hmm. All right. And what is the meaning of the last one? El, lo del viento. Enemy of Cervantes. Correct. Molino de viento. Molino. The windmill. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Next. Wilbur, how much money would you like to make for your team? Uh, 300 per position. Okay. For $300, complete this. I like I like it. Sí. Well, remember, in this case, no. So it is, I like cooking. Therapy. Therapy. Recordemos que siempre tenemos que utilizar el en el con el tú, medio. Ok. Postman, how much money would you like to make for you and your team? Mm -hmm. Um. One hundred dollar and tens. Tenses. Okay. okay. Complete the sentence, Houseman. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Okay. Can you please read? Leame la, la oración completa. How, how old is your owl? He is 12 night. Okay. All right. Is that correct, guys? No. Why not? Because and is for woman so it will be she she's yeah. all right very good all right so i didn't add it but it, it was she's she is uh, salvador mm. tens tens how much money 300 okay for three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. C. Letter C. Okay, read read the whole sentence. In winter, Shayla does skiing and in summer plays tennis. Okay, letter C. C. Okay, is that correct, guys? Das skin little b b 
<laughs> letter B, okay. In this case, all right. It is letter, it is letter B, okay. Goals, you go a skin, okay. You don't do a skin, you go a skin, okay. So it was letter B. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one, and then we're going to move to one of the quizzes that we have. The last one, okay? How much money would you like to make and who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, all right. Nelson, how much money would you like to make this night? 600. Oh my God, you don't have $600. <laughs> but we can go ahead and play with two, right, if you want. But yes. Tense. Tenses. 500? Six. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have 600, okay? So, Todo nada. <laughs> okay, 500, okay? Well, let's see. Create the following sentence in passive. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Maria House is paint painted every Christmas. No, no, espera. Quiero ver. Ajá. Sí. Eh. Oh. Me siento nervioso todo, ¿eh? <risa> <risa> okay. uh -huh. Sí. Ay, ya me soplaron ahí. <risa> ok, so, let's see. Um, lo que no estaba seguro, no recordaba, era el verbo, pero... Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Maria House is paint. Ay, es que ese her no, ese her me confunde. Okay. <laughs> Ay, no. Okay. Hey, yeah. okay, Nelson, don't worry. Okay. Every Christmas, the house of Mary is paint. Okay. Every Christmas, the house of Mary is paint. No. 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 Okay. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Imagine how much money. You owe me $1,100. Okay. Revancha, revancha. Okay, yes. So, but give me the, the correct sentence. You know, at the beginning, you were correct. Si sí, estaba correcto al principio, Nelson. Mm -hmm. Her My house is clean. Es que el her me metió duda. House, okay. It could be her house. Uh -huh. It's paint. Paint. I by Maria, every by Maria every Christmas. Okay, her house is painted every Christmas or Maria's house is painted every Christmas. The by is not necessary because we already give the subject, right? That is her or Maria's house. Mm -hmm. You were correct at the beginning, Nelson, but you changed. I'm pussy nervous. Okay, all right. Okay, so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to take the first quiz, okay? And let's go to the spreadsheet 
Uh, let me get the link for the ones that probably um, do not have the link. Um, okay, so we are going to take the vocabulary quiz. Vocabulary, okay. Um, there you go, that is the link and the passcode is going to be grammar, okay. Vocabulary, vocabulary quiz. So basically this quiz is about prepositions, prepositions. Let's see if you remember, okay, prepositions. Once you are done, let me know. Okay, vocabulary quiz right now. Yeah, I think that I will I will set a time. Uh, probably I'll give you um, four minutes. Well, no, I will I'll give you five. Okay. Okay, thank you, Yancy. Uh, teacher finish, but uh, but I have a, a that in the that? sentences number six. All right, I'm going to check that one in in a minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see sentence number six. Mm 
Okay. I think that you all finish, if I'm not mistaken. 14. And I have 20, oh, 19. Okay, we still have some seconds, all right. Okay, so yes, tell me, Wilbur, which is the question that you have? Uh, I compare the word on when I when I take a seat. Or when you share, no, when you take a seat. Yes. But I, I match uh, the same sentence with the bed because you you stay on your bed, not in your bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the main difference is the following. Okay, we can use on, or we can use in, but which is the difference? When you sit on your bed, you are actually uh, sitting under the blanket. Está sobre su cobija, no está cobijado. When you are on your bed, usted no está cobijado. Está nada más sobre su cama. Pero si usted está in bed, es porque ya se cobijó, ya está arropado, ya in bed. Okay. All right. That Thank is the you. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Now let's move and we are going to take the listening. Yes, I think the Ulises. Uh, why incorrect in at the morning in the morning, but you said before uh, at in the morning, at afternoon, at and in the evening or at night, but uh, I was wrong about the work. Okay, all right. So in this case, mm, I don't remember saying at the morning, okay? In this case, um, it's never, nunca es at the morning. What I said was at lunch, at dinner, and at breakfast. But in this case, we are talking about morning. N never at the morning. Always in the morning. Okay? In the okay, morning, in the afternoon, at night. Okay? All right. Um, any other doubt? Any other question? Only for night, uh, we use at. That is correct. Just okay. for night, we use at. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now let's take the listening. The listening, okay? The listening one. Um, and the passcode is listening. Okay. Mm. Let me see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play the recording twice. If you need an extra time, let me know. Okay, here we go. Ready? No yet, okay. I'll give you a couple of seconds, okay?
Okay, here we go. Now, yes? Yes, okay. Here we go. Give me one sec. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way, and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. Be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto, our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. This temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa Shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? Okay, the second time. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way, and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. Be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto. Our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. This temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa Shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? Okay, ready? Or do you need me to play it once more? Once more. Once more. Okay, okay. Here we go. Well, good morning, everyone. My name's Craig Stone, and I'll be your guide for today's tour of Kyoto. First, I want to go over the itinerary for the tour so everyone can enjoy the trip without being worried about being left behind along the way, and no one has gotten lost so far. First of all, we'll be leaving at 9.15 outside the main train station exit. That's in 30 minutes. 
be sure to board the bus by 9 o'clock sharp. We'll be visiting some of the most famous historical spots in Kyoto. Our first stop will be at the Golden Pavilion, a temple constructed in 1397. We'll be leaving there at 10.30. You'll have about 45 minutes to stroll around the temple and its gardens. Our next destination will be Ryuanji Temple. That's always a difficult one to pronounce. Now, this temple is famous for its beautiful rock garden. We'll depart from the temple at 11.45. Next, we'll have lunch from 12 to 12.45. In the afternoon, we'll be making a brief stop at Heian Jingu Shrine, which was constructed in 1895 to commemorate the 1,100th anniversary of the founding of the city of Kyoto. After that, we'll head downtown and stop in Gion. Many people ask me about different traditional shopping areas, and this is a place that we don't want to miss. You'll have about an hour to look around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the atmosphere of the entire area, the shops, the homes, and the restaurants, a very traditional flavor of Kyoto. We'll be leaving Gion at 2.30. Finally, we'll visit Ninjojo Castle, which was the residence of the first Tokugawa Shogun. You'll have about an hour to tour the castle, and we'll meet at the bus at 4 o'clock. Any questions? Okay. Mm, let me see your results. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100. Okay, some of you got 80. Okay, and well, okay. All right. Okay, guys. So right now what we are going to do is that we are going to move to speaking, okay? We need to practice speaking today. So please open the class, all right? And we are going to practice um, the speaking questions, right? We are going to practice um, around probably 15 minutes, okay? And then we are going to come back because we need to take the reading quiz, right? But right now I need to please open the class and we are going to go to the speaking time. Which are the questions that you are going to practice? The following, okay? So we have, what do you usually do on your birthday when you were a child? Simple past, right? How do you normally celebrate your birthday now? Okay. Is your birthday now still as important to you as when you were a child? Probably yes, probably no. Mm -hmm. And so on. You, con uh, you continue and you will see many questions right here. All right. And I'm going to call you back uh, within probably 10 minutes. All right. But I need you to please practice, practice speaking right now. Okay. So here we go. Let me see. Okay. Um, hi, Jensi. Uh, will you be able to practice with Anna? No, I can't. Okay, you can't. All right. So, Anna, I'm going to move you. Okay. I'm going okay. To, let me see. I'm with all the, the classroom? Yes. So, another classroom. Okay. Uh, another break, breaker room. Let me okay. move you with, um, okay, let me see, seven. And you, uh, Jensi, I'm going to move you to another breaker room so you can listen, okay, to the other ones. All right, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see, I will move you. Okay. Mm. Yes. Room five. Okay. Let's see.
the question. So if you want, I can ask you or you can ask me. Um, Rose, so, I think that Edwin cannot hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, um, right now, yeah, it is better. No, yes, okay, wait. The first is, is what did you usually do in your birthday when you were a child? A child. A child. So, uh, if I think, I don't remember what I did on my birthday, but it, I know that I enjoy with my family and always uh, have always had a meeting with mm -hmm. my brothers, my mother, my father, and my grandma. And we enjoyed all day and we making food and enjoy it. That's right. How about you? In my case, my recording in progress. When you were a shy. You shall Hmm. I don't remember. Did you go out with out? your parents? Mm -hmm. Did you go out? Uh, Did you eat anything special? Uh, Did you receive a gift? Between. Uh, a special place. Okay. Which special places? Which? Uh, parking Santil. Okay. Uh, and what is there? Family Park. Mm -hmm. And what did you do there? Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you do over there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh. By by the king and in Nita, uh, drink coke and play by my my parents. Play with my parents. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. What about you, Karen? What do you usually do on your birthday when you were a child? Okay. In my case, I usually, with my family, I receive gifts and toys and clothes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Mm -hmm. It was delicious then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Okay. And what about now? How do you normally celebrate your birthday now? Mm -hmm. What do you do on your birthday? It's, it's similar because I love a, a chocolate cake and always on my birthday eat chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, so you love chocolate? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, and, and may, uh, sometimes it's go to the restaurant. Okay. Always with my family. Perfect. In, in, a, in a, okay. Uh, I have a, a, a shop, and so I go to eat pizza. Okay. My boys, I love. <laughs> okay. So, which one do you prefer, pizza or hamburger? In my case, pizza. Pizza. All right. Perfect. What about you, Carlos? How do you normally celebrate your birthday now? Mm, I celebrate it with my family. With your with family. Their... Uh, and we take uh, advantage of the my sister celebrate the last day with me. Mm -hmm. And celebrate together. Okay. With, uh, Birthday. Your birthday. Okay. Continue with number three. Okay. Continue with that one. Let me supervise the other ones. Okay. Go. Continue. Feelings to know a, a, a lion or a bear? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A lion. Uh, where do you saw? Mm -hmm. In the. Aurora Zoo. Yeah, it's a zoo. Aurora Zoo. If the zoo doesn't exist, you you never saw uh, all these animals. It's complicated. Yes, yes. The zoo or the people in the zoo yeah, needs to be careful. With all of animals. Uh, yeah. That's the problem. Yes. Some places don't have the, the care. Mm -hmm. uh, some people uh, some people only all, all only use the animals for earn money. To earn. And earn money in and it's not correct. Yeah, for example the circus. Yeah. Okay. What kind of weather do you like <laughs> the most? Why and why? Wow. For example, I love the rainy days and windy days. <laughs> windy days are are yeah. are. Remember mm. me the October. Good. I will. Is the you do are, are like a dog are, yes. are like a wolf. Yes. But my dogs are very happy, are very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. The next question is do you think animals should be kept in so sus? Sus? Yes, should no. be kept. In kept. Zoos. In zoos. Zoos. The second question. Oh. What kind of animal are kept? Kept. 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 
Mm. Oh, the, the answer are silly. similarly at the first when we are winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Elise? Uh, okay, I prefer. Um, Old mm -hmm. and then hold because when I hold when it hold it's very it's very um how do you say sofuka? Mm. No idea. <laughs> Tired? How? Repeat. Tired? Tire, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. would be very tired, and so that's why I like the cold, and also I like the um spring. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. In in my case, in my case. I, I like the summer because I live in a city eh, que es cold. that is cold. Which city that is cold? cold? Chinameca. Chinameca. Don't is it? I don't know where that is. <laughs> Chinameca. Let me look for it. Chinameca. Chinameca in San Miguel. Pero oh, ni parecido oh, oh. al clima, San Miguel. Really? Really? It's very cold aquí. Very cold. Hot or cold? Es fresco. Okay. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. In Chinameca. Chinameca. San Miguel. En serio. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Does the weather affect the way that you feel? I don't know. And does the weather? I, in my case, I think affect the way that I feel because when when it's summer, it hot my head. And, and how do you say it? Duele? It hurts. It hurts. 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 It's different. It's a uh, winter. And when the the weather is cold, mm -hmm. I I feel relaxed. You feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me what the meaning of affect. Affect, afectar. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the weather is up. Affect, the weather affects. Affect to me. Could affects, be, affects me. Uh huh. Affects me. Okay. Affects me. Could be. Could be. Um. Hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's a. It's a very. T-shirt, but could be. Uh. Could could you say me what? Um, how do you say sofocado? Yes, you can say it's stressful or suffocated. Stressful? Okay, okay. it's hot, it's very it's stressful. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Only that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Well. Do you like the hot weather or no? You don't like it. 
Mm, I don't like it. I no. don't like the hot weather. And you, Jennifer? What is the question, teacher? Yes. Do you like the hot weather? No, because my head hurts. Head, 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 Okay, all right. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. We are done with the class, okay? Let's go back. Okay, then. Yes, let's go. Guys, do you think that the weather affects the way you feel? Uh -huh. Do you think that the weather affects the way that you feel? Yes. It does. If it is raining, you feel sad. Or you don't like go to the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it makes you feel lazy. Then that is, is, that is shared with another person. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, it could be, right? Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Okay, thank you very much for connecting today. And thank you for being responsible. We are going to continue tomorrow. The only person that please stay with me, Eulise. Eh, yeah, then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. All right? Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. 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 Rest. Okay. Okay. Take See care. Rest. See you tomorrow. Okay, Eulise. Let's see. Um. So this is a short feedback, okay? Ese es un, un uh, periodo corto para poder tener un feedback eh, de usted, ¿verdad? Um, bien, Eulice, primero, primero que nada, eh, preguntarle cómo se siente con las clases. ¿Cómo se ha sentido con la dinámica de nuestras clases, de las clases en general en este casi mes que ya vamos a tener juntos? Ok. ¿De eso en español o en inglés? Um, uh, if you feel comfortable in English, do it in English. If you feel comfortable in Spanish, in Spanish. Como se I dice, will ah, try. Oh. I will try because I need to improve my English. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Um, in my opinion, uh, your, your class or... Yes, I, your class is very interesting for me. Okay. Because I I have a uh, earn very uh, I, I had I have earned mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. And thank you for your advice. Okay. And for your helping about different situation. And for me it's all it's all good for me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Eulise. So now, let me ask you, how long have you been studying English? Okay. Um, I studied English since um, one, uh, one year. Uh, one year. Mm -hmm. um, five months ago. Five months ago, All right? Yes. And the U.S. But, start. Uh -huh. Yes, continue. But uh, but um, I couldn't have time for a study about different uh, ground um, vocabulary. Yes, I need to. Mm -hmm. I need to more vocabulary. But and but my reason for not improve my English is mm -hmm. I don't have time. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I work all day since uh, since two uh, Monday to uh, Friday on Friday or on Saturday sometimes. Okay. okay. And mm -hmm. that's why I know I could I could I can improve my English because mm -hmm. I need to I need to more time. 
to study. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Okay. Now tell me, what do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I usually do in the morning. Um, okay. Um, Saturday afternoon mm -hmm. of the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the I go to the shore mm -hmm. until 7 p.m. sometime. Mm -hmm. Then in, in morning Sunday. Sunday morning? Uh, Sunday morning. Uh, I go to the 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 supermarket with my mom mm -hmm. because we have to the that's compra shopping we need to go shopping okay we need to shopping and um i return to house around 1 p.m and then i try to study until 10 p.m but only i have this time that time mm -hmm. okay Got it, Eulise. Well, um, all right. So, uh, do you have any question about a topic right now? Uh, uh, tonight? Or... Yeah. Yes. Do you have any question about the topics that we have covered so far? Any doubt? Something that is not clear? Um, but... Uh, I think so far so good about uh, this about tonight. Okay. But uh, I I sound good uh, about a voz passiva. Passive voice. Passive voice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eso me tiene un poquito así, que no, lo tengo que estudiar el fin de semana para poderlo okay. tener más claro. Okay. Solo eso. Ok. Bien. Um, ok. Um, in this case, um, first of all, I would like to mention that I have seen that you participate a lot and that you ask questions, right? So that is really good. Ok. I really like that you ask questions, usted hace preguntas, cuando no comprende algo usted lo pregunta, ok, and that is something good, ok, eso es algo súper bueno, ok, lo felicito okay. Por, um, por hacer preguntas, porque solo así uno puede salir de la duda, so congratulations, right, um, I really like that you sometimes participate, también usted participa, ok, so that is really okay. good, yes, but You know, we are almost done with this module. Ya casi lo finalizamos la otra semana, el viernes es la última clase. So. No es esta semana. No, es el viernes, tres. La eh, otra semana finaliza. Yes, eh, la otra semana, oh. el tres, finalizamos eh, básicamente el, el módulo, el módulo de intermedio uno. Okay. Um, yes. So, Eulice, um, Quisiera que participara más, al menos en la semana que nos queda, ¿sí? Para que usted vaya agarrando un poquito más de confianza, ¿ya? Yeah? So you can get that self-confidence that you need, ¿ya? Yeah? As you mentioned before, it is true that sometimes you don't have time and that's probably why you haven't uh, acquired the vocabulary, right? So, and, and all of that, it is true. But at least if you have seen our classes are designed for you to speak. Las clases más que todas son diseñadas para que usted pueda adquirir new vocabulary, para que adquiera más vocabulario, para que practique. Si ya se fijó, hacemos bastantes prácticas. Es más que todo para que ustedes puedan eh, pulir un poquito más el idioma en todas las áreas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, me agrada que usted siempre eh, participa, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos en los breakout rooms, eh, siempre está participando, ¿ok? Pero quiero que participe más esta última semana. Le voy a estar preguntando más, ¿ok? Voy a estar mencionando más Eulice, Eulice, Eulice. Porque solo así vamos a poder como 
mejorar un poquito más en la soltura, en la fluidez, ¿verdad? Entonces, hasta el momento vamos bien, pero, quiero, quiero. Ajá, pero siga practicándolo, porque lo que nos hace falta, veo yo, que okay, lo he como autoevaluado, y en este caso uh -huh. es básicamente la fluidez, como que los pensamientos nos salgan un poquito más rápidos, porque usted puede, porque cuando usted me pregunta, me hace la pregunta despacio, ¿ok? Pero la hace. Entonces lo importante es que alcancemos un grado de fluidez un poquito más alto. Uh -huh. okay. eh, quería preguntarle, es que a veces no participo porque en realidad hay un vocabulario que yo no entiendo nada uh -huh. y yo me quedo así como que mejor no, no intento nada. Uh -huh. Y solo me quedo esperando a ver qué dicen los demás para poder opinar yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Han habido como algunas preguntas o algunos, algunas, sinceramente hay cosas que como, como no estudio mucho, no entiendo honestamente. Leo y no sé lo que dice, no uh -huh. entiendo. Y mis compañeros sí lo saben y yo digo, bueno, ellos sí pueden, ellos pueden más que yo y lo reconozco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pero es, a veces no lo hago porque por eso, porque no tengo el vocabulario para responder, ni tan siquiera sé lo que está diciendo la pregunta a veces ok, muy bien entonces cuando pase eso Eulice, si usted no quiere preguntarme eh, con micrófono abierto me puede mandar un mensaje privado aquí a Zoom teacher, no comprendo ¿Sí? okay. entonces cuando si usted me lo hace saber a mí que usted no comprende la, la pregunta, yo con mucho gusto vengo y le explico, ¿verdad? Pero es importante que no nos quedemos con esa duda, ¿ok? Que no nos quedemos con la duda, porque si no, eh, exacto, no aprendemos el vocabulario que necesitamos aprender, ¿sí? Entonces, tal vez un, um, un, un consejo, ¿verdad? Sería que cuando usted no comprenda algo, ya sea conmigo o con otro maestro, adelante. Si usted siente eh, como eso de no querer preguntar eh, que todos pues escuchen en la clase, pregunten un mensaje privado, pero no deje de preguntar. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. Esa eh, es mi recomendación. Uh -huh. Ok. Y también quería, sé que usted no, eh, decirle algo como, es la primera persona o la primera profesora que, que, que me ha presionado, que nos ha presionado a todos y que me ha presionado a mí de una manera bastante alta, y eso es bueno porque nos ha impulsado a, ser, a tratar de ser mejores. Entonces, okay. también creo que ya no voy a tener esta conversación con usted, pero felicitarla por lo excelente que es, y gracias por todas las dinámicas y todo lo que hace. Felicitarla por eso, y también necesito que me diga una cosa. Ok. Eh, digamos que hasta donde usted ve de que yo puedo hablar o entender algo, digamos, porque yo llegué hasta un nivel intermedio antes, pero ya lo he viajado a estudiar ah, varios meses, ¿verdad? Sí. Luego entré acá a estudiar acá, pero yo quisiera saber qué nivel usted ve en mí, un 30%, un 20%, un 10% de inglés. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno. Eso es importante para mí. Ok, bueno, primero que nada, le agradezco bastante eh, sus palabras, ¿verdad?, eh, las clases pues son diseñadas para que ustedes puedan aprender. ¿verdad? Entonces me gusta que están aprendiendo y que se sienta pues ese cambio porque en realidad eh, si no presionamos el alumno pues se va acomodando, ¿verdad? Entonces y eh, es lo que no eh, queremos en nuestras clases. Bien, ahora si usted me pregunta eh, el porcentaje que yo considero que usted tiene con su nivel de inglés, le puedo decir que usted tiene un 50% de inglés. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que en este caso usted tiene que mejorar en vocabulario, en fluidez, ¿sí? Porque lo que yo veo es que usted habla, usted intenta hablarlo. Entonces lo que usted tiene que hacer es practicar aún más hablarlo eh, para que los pensamientos vayan siendo un poquito más fluidos y ya cuando usted tenga fluidos sus pensamientos, de igual manera su nivel de inglés va a ir mejorando porque va a poder expresar sus pensamientos de una manera mejor con diferente vocabulario, pero ¿cómo lo puede hacer? Sí. Déjeme bueno. hacerle una pregunta eh, como estudiante ¿cómo considera usted que usted aprende más? viendo, escuchando leyendo, escribiendo 
practicando, opinando. ¿Cómo aprende más? Aprendo escuchando y practicando. Uh -huh. Bien. Siento yo que... Porque, bueno, sí leyendo, y, pero me gusta escuchar y más practicar, porque cuando, como no practico con nadie, na, absolutamente nadie en mi casa, nadie habla inglés, uh -huh. y casi no, ten, no tengo ni amigos ni amigas que hablen inglés, o sea, uh -huh. yo solito me pongo a hacer oraciones sí. en pasado, en presente, o cosas así. Entonces, esa, esa, esa fluidez eh, me cuesta, porque cuando practico con nadie, entonces me gustaría practicar. Y cuando practico, siento que hablo un poco más. Uh -huh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso, lo que yo le puedo aconsejar, porque sí, le comprendo que no tenemos a nadie, ¿verdad?, alrededor para poder practicar. Y creo que eso, pues, eh, como vivimos en un país que hablamos español, casi nadie habla el inglés. Entonces, en este caso, lo que yo le puedo aconsejar a Ulises es esto. Al momento que usted se vaya a acostar, en ese momento que usted se va a ir a su cama, ¿verdad? Va a empezar a hacer sus cosas, todo lo que va a hacer. Empiece a describir, por ejemplo. Ok, so right now I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to brush my teeth. O cuando lo está haciendo, I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah. Mm, okay. Entonces empieza a describir todo lo que usted hace. En su mente o en voz alta, como usted considere que lo puede hacer, para mí sería mejor en voz alta, porque así practica. Y uh -huh. al mismo tiempo, el día de mañana hace lo mismo cuando se vaya a dormir. Y poco a poco incluya cuando se levante. Cuando nomás se levante, empiece. Ok, so, ¿qué tengo que hacer ese día? So, what uh, am I going to do today? Ok, I need to go to work. Uh, I'm going to do this at work. Y empieza a describir. No importa que no lo haga bien al principio. ¿Sí? Y si en, en algún momento usted dice, no sé cómo se dice eso. Y se queda así como, no sé, ¿verdad? Y entonces ahí es como un stop. Porque uh -huh. no sabe. Entonces cuando uh -huh. usted eh, vea ese stop, ¿verdad? Lo que tiene que hacer es continuar con otra idea. Ok, no sé eso cómo se dice, pero veamos si, ok, entonces ¿qué más voy a hacer? No se quede parado solo porque no sabe cómo se dice algo. Pero lo que sí es que cuando tenga el tiempo, busca cómo se dice ese algo que no pudo decir anteriormente. Entonces, poco a poco, usted va a ir incluyendo el idioma inglés en su rutina. Y eso le va a ayudar muchísimo. Aparte, el escuchar música en inglés, el escuchar videos en inglés, el escuchar YouTube. En YouTube puede buscar muchos videos en inglés. Entonces, sí lo estaba haciendo. Ajá, correcto. Entonces empieza a hacer todas esas cosas, pero lo más importante es eso, que empiece a hablar con usted mismo en inglés, qué voy a hacer ahorita que me vaya a dormir. Y cuando uno se va a la cama, siempre piensa en algo. Siempre está pensando uno en lo que me pasó este día, es lo que hice, uh -huh. bueno, mañana voy a hacer lo otro. Todas esas ideas tienen que hacerlas en inglés para que sus pensamientos vayan fluyendo un poquito más. Perfecto. Ok. Bien, sí. esos son mis consejos, ¿verdad? Eh, va súper bien, ¿ok? Tiene toda la actitud y eso es lo importante, ¿verdad? Porque recuerde que en algunas ocasiones el proceso de aprendizaje para algunos estudiantes es muy diferente para otros, ¿verdad? Algunos aprenden un poco más rápido, algunos aprendemos un poco más despacio, pero no quiere decir que no lo podamos aprender. Entonces yo lo incentivo, lo motivo a que no se vaya a desanimar ni se vaya a dar por vencido con el idioma, porque va por buen camino. Solo necesita un poquito más de práctica, pero va a lograr su meta. ¿Ok? Gracias por sus palabras en serio. Ok. Bien. Una pregunta más. Uh -huh. eh, digamos que nosotros estamos en nivel 7, ¿verdad? En pre-intermedio, no sé. Yes, modo... está en intermedio 1, nivel 7, porque ya es a principiante 6. Ahora es el 7, pero es intermedio 1. Y digamos que... Eh, yo como estudiante, como estudiante, ¿hasta qué modo podría, digamos, la capacidad de llegar? Eh, has avanzado, eh, hay avanzado cinco. Si no estoy mal, hayas avanzado cinco. ¿Y eso hasta qué modo llega? Eh, digamos, ¿qué número de módulo alcanza? Sí, eh, creo que es el módulo, son seis, doce... Creo que son, si no estoy equivocada, son 16 módulos o 18 módulos. Ok. 
Y como uh -huh. vamos por el 7, todavía faltan bastantes intermedios, ¿verdad? Bastante, uh -huh. bastante. Entonces, pero en esos intermedios usted se va a ir puliendo. Cuando ya llega avanzado, avanzado uno, ya va a sentir una gran diferencia porque ya aprendió muchísimo. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Gracias, en serio. Te lo agradezco okay. un montón. Vale. Un gusto, Eulice, ¿ok? Y vale. trate de practicar, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. All right. Good night. I'll see you back tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.